Coach Jordan, big week of camp here. You got three sites running this week, kind of a rare thing. You don't always have three sites running. Okay, talk about the teams you have in this week and, you know, what's different maybe with this week of camp. Well, I got I got some great teams. I got Wadsworth. Uh, you know, they're a tough team. They, they beat St. Ed's twice this year in dual meets. Good having those guys down, the Squires boys and the heavyweight Basillo, and just uh, they just got a great team. Uh, we also got Hayfield, Virginia. Uh, great team down there. Coach Roy Hill's done a great job there. Uh, we've got a couple teams from uh, from Michigan, Holt, Michigan. They won the they won the state last or two years ago up there. And uh, also we have Roger City, Michigan, and they do uh, they've done a great job up there. They've had a couple state champs, and it's good having them down. And I've got three sites this week. It's kind of a kind of a crazy week for me. I got at my house. I've got uh, Jamestown, uh, Greenview. They're they're a good team. And over at Concord, I got my individual camps where I've got uh, kind of upper weights in there. Uh, good heavyweights uh, from 185 up to up to 285. And uh, it's a great week. I, I enjoy uh, enjoy having those down. It's just a little bit crazy. Three three sites. Me, Coach Lang, and and uh, Coach Ryan, and, and uh, Kyle Lott. Uh, just bouncing around. It's you don't get much rest at all this week. Okay, you guys had a freestyle practice today where you guys kind of ran. Your Graham guys kind of came in, some guys from the area as well came in. Why is that so important to have that freestyle practice? And you said you only do really technique once a week with your guys. Why is that so important? You know what? Uh, I think freestyle, just looking at, you know, uh, across the country, freestyle is kind of going down in my book. A lot of guys now are going to different things besides freestyle, and, and I think freestyle is very important. And so once a week during the summer camp, uh, I've got probably three or four guys going to Fargo this year. Every Tuesday they come in and they drill, and I have them drill, drill freestyle. Why? Just to always have it in case they want to make that transition from folk style to freestyle. And I don't think enough kids are doing that now. And, uh, and it's tough. I know they keep changing the rules in freestyle, uh, and I think that's kind of hurting a little bit. But uh, I think it's important. I wrestled freestyle. Zeb, I'm sure you wrestled freestyle growing up. And I just think it's important that the kids, uh, kids do that. Your three sons are constantly immersed in this camp environment. It's a healthy environment for working out and refining technique. In your opinion, do you think that them and their cousins are some of the better technicians you've ever seen? Uh, they drill good. You know, my 10-year-old son, I think, knows better technique uh, uh, than when I graduated from college, you know, just because technique has come has come so far. Uh, but just the thing I like about it is, is I don't have my boys just laying around playing on the computer all day. You know, it's it's really not an option. They know that Tuesday at 11, they drill. Right after that, they got to go lift, and, and uh, as well as a lot of other guys on my team. And... Um, it's just it's just a way of life on, on teaching them how to work hard. So that's what I enjoy my kids being around. Number one, being around wrestling. You know, wrestling is a great sport, and I just enjoy them being around. And, and wrestling teaches you about life. You know that, and I know that. And, and uh, I think that's just another thing to teach them about life, about how hard they have to work. I came to this camp in 1997. I was a counselor in 99-2000. I see a lot of the same things, but also you change things up. You've evolved. You've moved forward. How important to you is it to constantly change with the sport and adapt? Well, we, we teach a system. I mean, I, the, the same head inside single, Zeb, I showed you back in 98 is the same head inside single we're, we're shooting now. You know, we tweak the setups, and we just, you know, each year I keep figuring out more and more uh, technique, and I think you have to stay up with what's current, what the college guys are doing, what the uh, elite high school wrestler is doing, and, and you've got to incorporate that right into the same system that you teach, and, and we're trying to do that. At Graham now, we're, we're riding a lot more. We used to always just take people down and cut them. Right now, we're... we're I'm stressing pins. We're getting a lot more pins at Graham. And the reason why, I think that's what the crowd wants to see. You know, the crowds want to see the pin. It's like knocking a guy out in boxing. It's like sinking a three-pointer with three seconds left to win the game. The pin's the ultimate in wrestling. And I think I just, instead of getting 20 takedowns or 10 takedowns a match, or it's like, let's get six takedowns, seven takedowns, and then, then let's pin the guy. That's what the crowd wants to see. So we're, we're trying to stress that at, at, uh, at Graham. And, and again, we try to stay current on, all the, on, the, on the system that, that we teach here. Okay, January 30th, 2010. <laughs> it's going down out here. Blair, uh, Blair Academy is coming to the cornfields. How do you draw people out here? You draw people by the thousands out here every summer. How do you keep, continue to do it? And how do you keep uh, continue to thrive and grow out it's here? It's fun. I, you know, I get to work with the best kids in, in, uh, in the country in wrestling. They, they come to my camp, and it's a, it's a real pleasure to work with them and to get to know them. And wrestling's that small fraternity that, you know, you get to know a guy, get a, have a relationship with a guy in California and him and his family and, and you and your family uh, really become good friends. And, uh, 
But uh, you know, as for as for Blair coming here, we're really really glad that, that Buxton's bringing the team here, and and we're excited about that. And the following year, we're going to head out to Blairstown, and we'll, we'll see what New Jersey's all about heading out there. So uh, hopefully, uh, it'll be a great dual meet, and uh, we've had some good ones at Graham, and and uh, having Blair here is a real real privilege. And right, I'm marking it on the calendar, and I'm sure we may hype it up a little bit. That's good. Hype it up all you want. <laughs>